October the 13th, today we celebrate the memory of the holy martyrs Carpus, Papillus, Agathodorus, and Agathonica. These holy martyrs suffered about the year 250, in the time of the Emperor Decius, when Valerian was proconsul of the East. Carpus was the son of a priest of the idols. He believed in Christ, he was baptized and eventually became a bishop of the Church of Pergamum, established by St. John, the theologian. Papillus was instructed in the faith and baptized by Carpus, whose deacon he became at Pergamum, where he spread the word of God. They were both arrested and brought before the proconsul Valerian because they failed to obey the imperial edict ordering the surrender of the sacred vessels and vestments to the authorities. They fearlessly confessed the Lord and declared themselves ready to endure any torment rather than deny Christ by worshipping senseless idols. In his anger, the proconsul had them harnessed behind his horses and made to run a distance of some forty miles in front of his chariot all the way from Theatira to Sardis. When they got to Sardis, they were tied to a trestle and flayed. Agathodorus, one of Carpus' servants, followed after them. An angel gave him confidence that it was time he too confessed Christ God with his blood, so he went up to the tormentors and professed his faith. They straightway seized him, stretched him on the trestle with the other two martyrs, and beat him to death. Hanging from the trestle and put to all kinds of torture, Carpus smiled. The proconsul was amazed and asked him why he is smiling. I have seen the glory of the Lord, the holy martyr answered, and I am rejoicing. They tied populace to four long stakes and stoned him, but God protected him in this trial, and he and Carpus were again brought before the proconsul. Then they were dragged on their backs through brambles, beaten on the stomach, and in that state thrown to the beasts in the arena. Then an astonishing thing happened. A lion, taking a man's voice, upbraided the persecutors with their cruelty to Christ's holy martyrs. But the pagans stopped their ears, unwilling to recognize what even brute beasts acknowledged. They nailed iron sandals onto the saints' feet and threw them into a blazing furnace. As the crackling flames devoured him, Carpus cried out, Blessed be thou, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, who has deigned to give me, the sinner, a share in thine inheritance. At that moment a woman's voice was heard. I too, she cried, have seen the glorious feast, and I wish to sit down and partake of it. Her relatives vainly tried to restrain Agathonica, who some say was Populus's sister and reminded her of her duties towards her child. But she, accounting as nothing the natural weakness of her sex, rushed into the flames, crying, Lord, I flee unto you, save me. Then she expired, and her soul departed to the heavenly mansions to rejoice with her companions in the refreshment of the dew of heaven. Amen. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. 
O heavenly King, O comforter, the Spirit of truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Behold is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Thy martyrs, O Lord, in their courageous contest for thee, received as the prize the crowns of incorruption and life from thee, our immortal God. For since they possess thy strength, they cast down the tyrants, and wholly destroy the demon's strengthless presumption. O Christ, God, by their prayer save our souls, since thou art merciful. Thy victorious right arm in a manner befitting God has been glorified in strength, O immortal one. For in its infinite strength it shattered the enemy, fashioning a new path for the Israelites through the deep. Holy martyrs, Carpus, Populus, Agathodorus, and Agathonica, pray to God for us. Praising the most sacred memory of the mighty Carpus and Populus, the witnesses to the truth, in a godly manner let us hymn the Lord of glory who has made them victorious. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Tried first by the fire of fasting, through suffering ye did truly show forth a second spiritual testing, O martyrs. And in your divine virtues ye shone forth more brightly than gold. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Making haste to wounding, hanging fire and death with divine power, O glorious ones. He vanquished the might of the tyrants and were crowned with imperishable crowns. Both now and forever to the ages of ages, Amen. O divinely joyous one, portal of the light which shone forth from thine incorrupt womb, shine forth upon me the luminous beams of repentance and dispel the gloom of my sin. Thou alone knowest the weakness of human nature and in compassion has assumed its form. Do thou guard me with power from on high, that I may cry unto thee, holy, easy, animate temple of thy ineffable glory, O lover of mankind. O holy martyrs, Carpus, Papillus, Agathodorus, and Agathonica, pray to God for us. With thyself thou didst bear unto Christ an acceptable and most sacred fruit, the sacred Agathodorus, who endured stripes and wounds, and with the might of knowledge became victorious in the flesh over the incorporeal foe. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Unjustly broken at the command of the judge, O wise one, thou didst endure the mangling of thy flanks, and set aflame with fire, extinguished the burning embers of deception with the blood of thy wounds. O much suffering couples, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, desiring to see Christ hung aloft, thy breast burned with fire, thou didst endure manfully, O divinely wise populace, manifestly bedewed with the dew of the Spirit, 
and strengthened by divine hope. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O pure, most holy and all immaculate Virgin, always the faithful proclaim thee to be the undefiled dwelling place of God, the unquarried mountain, the holy ark, the censer of the immaterial emblem. Planting the fruits of the knowledge of God by thy labors, thou didst uproot the thorns of ungodliness, having anointed thyself with divinely effective oil, thou didst shepherd thy people, O sacred one, and having suffered under the law, thou wast deemed worthy of twofold honors, O Carpus. Glory to him that has given thee strength, glory to him that crowned thee, glory to him that worketh healings for all through thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Stretching forth thy divine arms, wherewith thou didst bear the Creator, who in his goodness has become incarnate, O most pure Virgin. Beseech him to deliver from temptation, sufferings and tribulations, us who praise thee with love and cry aloud. Glory to him that made his abode within thee, Glory to him that issued forth from thee. Glory to him that has delivered us by thy birth giving. Habakkuk, gazing with foreseeing eyes, perceived thee as a mountain overshadowed by the grace of God, from which he foretold the Holy One of Israel would come, for our salvation and restoration. O holy martyrs, Carpus, Papalus, Agathodorus, and Agathonica, pray to God for us. Bound with the indissoluble love of the Creator, O martyr of Christ, stoned thou didst manifestly vanquish those who stoned thee, with endurance God granted thee, O all-praised one, struggling with manly mind against Hatred. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Armed against all manner of pain, O most valorous ones, and cast the wild beasts, together you vanquish them as did Daniel. By the divine images of faith, O Carpus and Populus, you glorious martyrs. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The most wicked one, the author of evil, mercilessly committed the favourites of Christ to the unquenchable conflagration, thinking thus to weaken their power, but his designs were reduced to ashes. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Virgin, we who are ever tempest-tossed amidst the sea of evils, have thee as a haven of salvation. To thee do we flee, and in thee do we trust, that we may not fear the treachery of the invincible foe. O Christ, who hast enlightened the ends of the world by the radiance of thy coming, illumining them with thy cross, do thou enlighten with the light of divine understanding the hearts of those who hymn thee in an orthodox manner. Holy Martyrs, Carpus, Populus, Agathodorus, and Agathonica, pray to God for us. Neither the tribulations of persecution, nor hunger, nor even death could separate the divinely wise from the love of Christ. For earnestly foreseeing their recompense, they paid no heed to the vexation. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Strengthened by divine power, ye endured the most cruel piercing of your feet, O all praised ones, traveling the path of witness and setting at naught the sting of ungodliness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Bearing the inextinguishable torch of suffering, ye traversed the night of ignorance, O martyrs, and drew nigh to the never-waning light, being truly sons of the day by faith. 
both now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Without knowing a man that it's conceived the infinite God and it's give birth unto the transcendent creator of nature, great is the mystery, inconceivable the wonder, O Virgin, who alone art all immaculate. The deepest abyss has surrounded us, and there is none to deliver us, ye we have been counted as sheep for the slaughter. Save thy people, O, o God, for thou art the strength and restoration of the weak. O holy martyrs, Carpus, Papalus, Agathodorus, and Agathonica, pray to God for us. Your virtues perfume the assemblies of mankind, manifestly dispelling the false stench of polytheism, O right glorious ones. For you have now been revealed to be the fragrance of God, O martyrs. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. With the dew of faith you extinguished the burning flame, O blessed ones, and fervently enkindled the desire to suffer within Agathonica, who was with you, O noble ones, and with her you manfully underwent suffering. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Sharpened by the infliction of pain, O valiant spiritual athletes, Carpus and Populus, ye were truly shown to be swords of heavenly workmanship, with which legions of the enemy were cut down. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. From the mire of the passions and the pit of sinful falls, do thou raise me up and set me aright, for I am thy servant, and confess thee to be the Theotokos, O pure one, as thou art a restoration of the fallen. To those on earth our Sovereign Master has granted your sacred relics as a most precious treasure and as a power fountain pouring forth great streams of cures, for they purge away the ills of the manifold passions and bestow upon our souls grace divine without ceasing. Wherefore, with one accord, we keep your feast, with fervent longing, O Carpus and Papillus. We, the faithful, perceive the Theotokos to be an oety furnace, for as he, the supremely exalted one, saved the three children, so has he wholly refashioned fallen humanity in thy womb, O God of our fathers, who art praised and supremely glorified. O holy martyrs, Carpus, Papalus, Agathodorus, and Agathonica, pray to God for us. Extinguishing the furnace of youthful passion, the dew of abstinence, and the fire of suffering with blood, you reduce to ashes another furnace, that of idolatry, hymning God who is praised and supremely glorious, O martyrs. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. The spiritual athletes, Carpus and Populus, cry with fervor of soul, Let us stand firm, for lo, the contest has begun. Let us not weaken, for with his life-creating hand, Christ will manifestly bestow crowns of endurance upon us for the sake of our suffering. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O holy ones who are manifestly deified in entreating God in every way, you easily endured wounding by the godless, sustaining it as though it were another person suffering, remaining truly yourselves, and hymning our praised and supremely glorious God. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O pure one, thou hast clearly annulled the curse of Eve, our first mother, having borne the first fruit of blessedness, O all immaculate maiden, who knew no blood lock, in the ranks of angels bless him, the praise and supremely glorious God of our fathers. In the furnace, as in a fiery smell, to the Israelite children shone more brightly than gold with the beauty of godliness, 
As they exclaim, Bless the Lord, all ye his works, him and supremely exalt him throughout all ages. Holy Martyrs, Corpus, Populus, Agathodorus, and Agathonica, pray to God for us. Today the radiant memory of the martyrs has shone upon us, illumining with the light of healing us who cry aloud, Bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord, him and supremely exalt him throughout all ages. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. O our blessed Corpus, thou hast been adorned as a hierarch, as a divine prophet, as a witness to the sufferings of Christ, and as a divine standard, O our blessed one. Chanting him, the Lord, all ye works, and supremely exalt him throughout all ages. We bless the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The streams of the blood of thy suffering utterly overwhelming the torrents of ungodliness, O martyr Papalus. Thou hast shown to be a wellspring of healings for those who cry. Him, the Lord, all ye works, and supremely exalt him throughout the ages. Both now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. The sacred choir of divine prophets proclaims thee, O all immaculate one, to be her who is the mother of God, and to whom all cry aloud, Bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord and supremely exalt him throughout all ages. Bush which burnt, without being consumed, prefigured thy pure both giving O Theotokos. Wherefore we now entreat thee, quench the raging furnace of temptations that beset us, that we may unceasingly magnify thee. O holy martyrs, Carpus, Papalus, Agathodorus, and Agathonica, pray to God for us. As whole burnt offerings, as sacrifices perfect and without blemish, ye offered yourselves to the Creator, O all blessed ones, meeting your ends by the sword. And now, O crowd ones, you lead in the heavens. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. O martyrs, you are revealed to be immovable pillars and ramparts of the church, springs of water pouring forth healings and luminous and most radiant beacons, which deliver the pious from the night of sin. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O populous and carpus, having already made your abode in the splendid mansions of heaven, illumined with rays of divine light, and filled with everlasting joy, Pray ye ever on our behalf. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most pure one, in thy arms, like the throne of the cherubim, thou didst bear him who upholds all things, who for our sakes clad himself in flesh like unto ours, and is seen as a twofold unity. Him do thou ever entreat on behalf of us who hymn thee. Thy martyrs, O Lord, in their courageous contest for thee, received as the prize the crowns of incorruption and life from thee, our immortal God. For since they possess thy strength, they cast down the tyrants and wholly destroy the demon's strengthless presumption. O Christ, God, by their prayer, save our souls, since thou art merciful. Wisdom, most holy Mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave his birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, the praise of his holy and all pure Mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist of the Holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the Holy, life-giving cross of the Lord, of the Holy bodiless powers of heaven, with the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, Sisoes the great Brandon the Navigator, 
Oren Avayona, Kalamba Avayona, Kenneth, Molwag, Ronan, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of the holy martyrs, Carpus, Populus, Agathodorus and Agathonica, whose memory we keep this day. With the prayers of St. Comgan and St. Colman, with the prayers of Saints Finkana and Saint Findoka and Saint Edward the Confessor, whose memory we also keep this day, with the prayers of the holy ancestors of God Joachim and Anna and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. With the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, O oh God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.